hi guys welcome back to my channel so this video is is or was oh also hello <laughs> i have bangs i have short hair hi who is she i don't know but i like it anyway so this video was supposed to be you know a simple fast classic makeup look that the red lip was supposed to be the standout point of everything and this was supposed to be like a Cinco de Mayo thing that's why I'm wearing my very floral Mexican shirt which I freaking love um but this video took a turn where I did not expect it to take a turn which you know honestly I probably played myself and it's all my fault because I tried to give I tried to give a second chance and you know it just did not work for me if you guys are gonna celebrate Cinco de Mayo and you're looking for like something fun to do hello do this so yeah if you want to know how I get this look go ahead and keep watching but before we get started go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already like this video and turn on the little notification bell so you know when I upload and we live happily ever after okay Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my face and I'm gonna use the Coop and Daisy Fresh Glow Makeup Primer. Now I've been using a lot of like Coop and Daisy and I've really been liking this primer. This is the third time I think I use it. A little bit goes a long way. I kind of went overboard with it right now. Also, once you start rubbing it in and it starts like absorbing into the skin, it starts getting really tacky. So now we're gonna Prime the lids. Okay, and now that we have the lids set, I'm actually gonna do the brows. Okay, boom, eyebrows done. I know I cheated because I did them off camera, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm actually not gonna do a lot with the lid because I want it to be just a like really classic and simple and just like the lip be kind of like the main focus. So I'm gonna be using the Pure Festival palette and I'm actually just gonna be using the Epic and Hidden Desert colors. So I'm hoping that they're not like super pigmented, although the other ones I used weren't super pigmented, so I'm not too worried about it, but we shall see. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a fluffy blend, fluffy blender blush. I'm gonna go in with a fluffy blender brush and I'm gonna go in with the color Epic and we're just gonna put that all over the lid. This color is a bit more peachy than I was expecting, but it's okay. We can still make it work. As long as like the lid is not super, super extremely pigmented, then we'll be fine. Now with a smaller, denser blending brush, brush, I cannot say brush. I'm going to go in with the color Hidden Desert. So I'm just kind of blending in like a downward kind of angled way so that way I can kind of create the illusion of like a wing already but we are gonna go ahead and add a wing on top of this so I also find that this palette like the colors are really really like blotchy I don't know if you can tell but like that epic color that I use underneath is just very not that it's not pigmented, but it's just not really sticking to like my lid. So I'm just using the same brush that I used with the first color and I'm just kind of going back on the edge and just helping softening that edge. So now I know I said that I was just gonna be like super simple, but now that I have everything else already on the lid, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some shimmer. I'm gonna go in with the color Free Spirit, which is this very, very, very light kind of beige gold color. Just taking some Fix Plus. Ugh, I hate this palette. I 
I don't know if you can tell, but like, look at this. It's the, the payoff is not that great. And I, I mean, I used Fix Plus. Usually that just makes like my shimmers and glitters just a lot better. But this palette is a no, no, no for me. Should have gone with my gut and just picked like another palette, but I was like, no, I want to give it another try. So I think I'm just gonna go for like a whole other look <laughs> because this palette is just like throwing me off. I'm gonna go with the little flat, more defined brush, and I'm gonna go in with the color all night and just kind of darken it out maybe do a little bit of a halo we're just gonna add this all over the outside okay so now that i've darkened my eye extremely and kind of fucked everything up we're gonna just blend away and I'm not adding any more uh, pigment or shadow to the brush. Since this color is pretty dark, I'm just kind of blending it out. I'm going to take a little tiny more precise brush. And I'm going to go in with that same color, Free Spirit. And I'm going to add that on the brow bone. <sighs> Now for some wing. Now, hopefully, this goes as planned. Wings done. Now that we have wing and lashes, we're going to move on to the face. So I'm actually going to be mixing two foundations. I'm going to be mixing the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation, which I don't like, and the Fit Me Matte and Poreless and see if these two combined maybe make a better foundation because the Elf one alone I think mixing the two made it a better color than just the elf one, but it's still not my favorite. And for concealer, I'm going to use the elf, the elf 16 hour camo, and this is in the color medium beige. I think I could have gone a color lighter, but. I'm actually not going to conceal my forehead. I usually do, but now that I have bangs, I don't have to because it's going to be covered. I'm actually not going to add any color underneath the brow, just so, I mean under, underneath the eye, just so it stays a little bit more classic. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Perfect Face Palette, and I'm going to go in with the bronzer in the palette. I um, don't really want to contour or add too much bronzer. This is just to kind of add a little bit of color. And with the same palette, I'm going to go in with the blush color. Just a little bit. And might as well, with the same palette, I'm going to go in with the highlight the starlight highlight 
because it's a little bit of a gold. Okay, now the moment of truth. Well, or the final moment, we're gonna add the lip. For the lip liner, I'm gonna go in with the NYX lip pencil in the color Ever. Uh, <laughs> I just realized with my lips lined like this and with bangs, I look a lot like my mom. Cause she used to have bangs when she was younger. Anyway, okay. So for the lip, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced matte lipstick and this is in the color he's with me because you know Cinco de Mayo Latinas spicy he's with me don't touch him he's my man I mean it has to go with this color right and this is the finished look Hope you guys enjoy it I feel like I want to do that now that I have like short hair and I need to stop looking at the actual like phone instead of like the camera so yeah hope you guys um, enjoyed this video I know I said I was gonna do like a simple classic red lip which like the red lip was supposed to be the focus of it and I was but that palette played me once again and not to like throw shade or anything but like that palette was just not it's just not that great okay like the colors are pretty but like they just don't i don't even want to get into it okay it's just not my favorite palette i don't like it thanks again for coming back staying all the way to the end don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and bye! Oh, and also, have a happy Cinco de Mayo if this is why you're watching this video. And if you're not, go drink a margarita and eat some tacos. Either way, because honestly, any day is good for that.